What's up? This year we've all been there. Let me guess, you've just unboxed your new shiny VR headset and dive straight into your first VR title, but a few moments later... So what is VR sickness? Well, in a nutshell, it's when your eyes are perceiving motion that your body is not. That's typically not normal, so your brain starts to think there may be an issue, and then... I don't feel so good. Fortunately, you can and will overcome it, which is known as getting your VR legs by following these three rules. The first and most important rule is do not force it. If you start to feel sick, stop immediately until you begin to feel better. If you keep going, it'll only get worse, and you'll even start training your brain that VR equals sick, which is counterproductive. Rule two is use the comfort ratings. These are here for a reason, and most games have them. Start with the most comfortable games, which are generally the ones that have you in a fixed position with no simulated motion. From there, games where you are fixed but the game moves you are good, and after that, you can start moving yourself. Rule three, use the comfort settings. For example, teleport or blink movement is way more comfortable than smooth movement. Snap turning is more comfortable than smooth turning, and vignette helps with literally everything. Teleport is great for starters, but I would suggest ditching it as fast as possible for immersion purposes, and this is the progression system that worked for me. Now, for some additional tips and tricks, having a fan blowing on your face can help. It gives your body a sense of movement and direction. If turning is still causing you problems, people often find it useful to physically turn their bodies instead, so give that a shot. Movement also generally has a few settings, such as head and hand orientation, which means you go in the direction those are pointed. I've always personally found head-oriented movement to be more comfortable because I like moving towards what I'm looking at. Also, frames matter, so if you're not on a NASA supercomputer, turn down your settings to ensure you're running at a stable 90 FPS. For Quest, it's best to avoid Avoid poorly optimized games like VRChat altogether. And for the love of God, avoid flipping barrel rolls and any other uncontrolled movement. Oh. And lastly, if you do get sick, Ginger and Dramamine can help you get back on your feet quicker. Anyways, good luck, subscribe, and enjoy your new headset. Oh, still got time.